Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 5. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Kogan. As we've mentioned all summer, the majority of students were in virtual classrooms. But there were some who attended classes in an actual school building today. And WJZS team coverage tonight. Let's begin with Avajoy Burnett on how schools who did have students could serve as a model for other districts. Avajoy. Good afternoon, guys. While school buildings like this one across the state sit empty, there were actually some that had teachers and students inside. And earlier today, the governor and the superintendent of schools actually toured three of them on the eastern shore. They're hoping that will serve as a model for other schools across the state. There's a bit of normalcy for some students and even the adults on this first day of school. Good morning. Welcome back. We're happy welcome back. back welcome school. back. Welcome back. This is in Caroline County on the Eastern Shore, where teachers and a handful of students, like some who need access to technology or students with special needs, are back in the classroom. Governor Larry Hogan repeatedly expressed his excitement. We were just excited to see some of the kids, especially our special needs kids and the, the ones that really benefit by being back in the classroom. The state has been divided on how to proceed. Back in August, the superintendent of schools pushed for a minimum of three and a half hours of live on camera instruction every single school day. The move drew swift rebuke from the Maryland State Education Association, which represents thousands of teachers, because it was just days away from the start of school. The Maryland State Board of Education eventually approved the proposal. Parents are also really concerned about their students falling behind when they're working from home. But the state superintendent of schools hopes what's happening on the eastern shore will serve as a model across the state. And more buildings like this one will start to open up for in-person instruction. Just exactly what we've been talking about and envisioning is this gradual return to public education in any way that we can. And I was just thrilled to see what Dr. Salins and her team have done here. Now, even though hundreds of school buildings across the state like this one sit empty, the governor says 16 of the 24 jurisdictions actually have a plan to gradually reopen either later in the fall or early next year. Live at 5, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.